shape our picture of an ideal future. Muslims of the USA, uh, you want to be, uh, what is this now? No, loud. Uh, an exception by America. Okay. Help them self image the yeah, we're passing up. Design our own future. Necessary. Design our own future. Okay. This is something that's common nowadays. People uh, in the pyramids, they used to have uh, pictures of like Pharaoh when he's born. You know, he marries a beautiful princess. He has beautiful, I mean, he has battles all over the world. And then he dies and goes off to the happy hunting ground, wherever they is they go. And a lot of people thought that they drew those pictures before Pharaoh died, or right when he died. No, they didn't do that then. They drew him when he was born. And Pharaoh could see what his life was going to be like. He's going to become a strong warrior, great leader. He's going to marry a beautiful princess, right? He's going to conquer all of these lands, da 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 He's going to do this, he's going to do that. Then he's going to die, and he's going over there somewhere. They drew those right away as soon as he was born. They didn't draw them when he died. Most people, for years, they thought when they went in the pyramids, oh, that was so-and-so, he did that. They, <laughs> they thought they drew them after. I didn't do that. That means there's, a, there's a, the ability to visualize where we want to go, what we want to do when we get there, and all of those things, we've left them to uh, to other people. And when we had, uh, when we visualize something, we visualize it incomplete. Like we might have visualized ourselves driving a big car, right? Because that's what we wanted. So we did what it takes to get. And having a tender sitting right next to you. But we didn't draw a picture of how we're going to treat her and how we're going to, right? <laughs> right here. Yeah, that wasn't part of it. And if you didn't have that picture, the world associations began to control your behavior. So that beautiful woman that you had sitting right next to you eventually was going to be gone or crazy because you turned crazy because you didn't have no picture. You didn't have no reason for getting there. All you wanted was to be there, to drive these big cars. You wanted to look like a senator, but you didn't want to be what a senator, you know, (laughs) right do. You wanted to look like Success, but you didn't want to do the things that uh, to make you successful. That was visioneering. Design your own future. Uh, give humanity mission, vision. Era of responsibility. Ah. Era of responsibility or area of responsibility over freedom. Like right now, everybody, we want freedom, freedom, freedom. Nobody is talking about responsibility, though, right? Who wants? You don't hear nobody running out there. Responsibility, we want responsibility, right? Raving flags, right? Right? They want freedom. They want everything else, but they don't want responsibility. Okay. All right. Now, let's get back to our opening. 
And we sent Moses with our signs and the command, bring out the people from the depths of darkness into light and teach them to remember the days of Allah. Verily, in this there are signs for such as are firmly patient, constant, grateful, and appreciative. A sabakun has something to do with pioneers going out ahead and, and blazing a trail. Okay. Now, you will have to admit, or maybe not, it's up to each person, how they look at, let's say, uh, our last decades here in Washington, D.C. What have they been like? Okay. So, we say, by deeds, actions, and writings, we lived up to a sabakun, a lavalun. We went out first, right? We figured and discussed what should be done. And now we're going about our business. Because that's what our sabakun do. A sabakun, a lawalun, is the first rank. They win the race. They blaze the trail. They go out. It don't say anything about homesteading. That's for people to come later. The trail blazes. Their job is to go out and blaze the trail. Not necessarily homestead. The homesteaders, the Negroes and others, they're homesteaders, right? Technically, they're going to enjoy the the fruits or the disaster, whichever comes, of your trailblazing. But it's the age of discovery. It's a process of discovery. So we might understand our mission, but the government may not, nor the Negroes that he hired to be around and watch. They may think that our mission is to really build, 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 get everything together and be a good example of something or other, right? That's not what we named ourselves. We named ourselves a Sabakun. Sabakun win the race. They're trailblazers. They go out first. They do the work, and even the Arabic dictionaries say they do the work and they be pick up, to give you an idea, they picked up and they done their job and now they gone. Right? It wasn't their job. It wasn't their mission to sit there and homestead, so to speak. So, thank God, boss man don't understand that. He don't understand the name of Sabaku, but he may get, be getting the idea now. So, he may come out and try to block everything you do. Well, all he's doing is showing what he does. You experience it, you say, good, now that's what you do with boss man, that's what you do, da, 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 da. And then you say, thank you very much. Salam alaikum. Kwaheri, tuta, nana, kesho, something, say goodbye. Believe us, and see you tomorrow or next week or 100 years from now. Because you have shown the way. Sometimes our Sabakun, Said Kutub mentions it both ways. Sometimes they are those who show the way. Sometimes they are those who lead the way. So sometimes you're just pointing at this. This is what boss man is. He is. Da, 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 da. Hey, good. What you doing over that boss? You're showing the way. Sometimes you're actually blazing a trail, cutting down trees and moving on, building a road. Sometimes. I imagine that it's up to our sabakun under the direction of Allah to assess the environment and have an internal knowledge of which one of those they should do. Whether they're going to show the way 
or whether they're going to lead the way. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, anyway. Remember, Quran, Sunnah, history, and our experience. Our policy solved problems. Whatever we do, we've done more good than harm. Think about it. Whatever it is that we have done or are doing, we've done much more good than harm. The other thing is continue to put the whole system on trial. And as a saying, it might have even been Bill Clinton, he said, just because you are paranoid does not mean that they're not out to get you. <laughs> you he was, as for the, I guess, relating to him and his wife. They was always, Republicans always. So just because you're paranoid, that means sensitive. I use the word sensitive, not paranoid. Because paranoid means that you're looking all around. You're kind of afraid. You're not afraid, but uh, uneasy. I call it with a welcoming spirit, a warm, welcoming spirit. You, you. Courage and the spirit of resistance will keep moving. We will continue to use survival enhancing tactics. We'll get to that later. This is just a personal note. I decided to forgive everyone for being themselves. So you forgive Negroes for being, you forgive niggas for being niggas. They can't help it. Basically, you think they can help it. If they Negroes, they don't save money and they don't do, you know, organizational stuff, you think they're happy about it? You think a Negro is happy if he win the lottery and in three days he's broke? He's not happy with that, right? <laughs> well, he might be, but they don't. I don't think so. Okay. Okay, we talked some time ago about the thick of clarification. The thick of counter-revolutionary warfare, the thick of it. There's a lot of thick that, uh, that you don't find in the books. So if we have the Quran, if we have the Sunnah, if we have history, and we have our experience, right? Our experience said, boy, you got to have some thick of clarification. Thick of counterintelligence. You got to have some of that. Well, you don't have to, but it sure would be nice, right? Okay. Preemptive domestication. Feels like, like in Oakland, stolen ability. Uh, at sustenance, that's too long a subject, so I'll just. Accelerated decline of America. I'm sure nobody feels that we're not in that period now. The accelerated decline of America. It has speeded up. During the past years, we had. Uh, Contemplation, contemporary times, and patience, and all of that. That's still a part of what we're doing, but uh, we have to make some adjustments to that because things have accelerated. Warnings plague potential social disasters. The, what we're seeing every day, and for California, the 
This fire season is getting ready to get started. This is what technically is already started. Because now they have one big fire season. Why? Because it don't rain much there anymore. And I'm going on out there. But it ain't like it used to be. So California. So goes California. So goes America. If California 10 years ago became a majority minority state, then the rest of America is headed that way too. So, if you could look states that used to didn't be like that, look at a state like Maryland. Maryland has always had Negroes all along the shore, all around, you know. But uh, would all the Negroes move?